<laughs> yep. Did you saved it? I don't know how to get back up. Actually, I know exactly how I get back up. <laughs> Don't think that really falls in line with being a healer, does it? But with Holy Cirrus, good Cirrus, such a kind of gentle soul. In the beginning, I was not sure you'd be able to understand the rigors of life here in Azure Rock. There's a core of iron, it's truly a joy to work with. I've spoken with Brother Xavier, such a fine man, such a wonderful leader. His brusque manner puts some people off at times, but he is a kind man at heart. Torwin is one of our newest initiates, he's shown tremendous progress. Until you, he is the fastest junior we've ever trained. Recently, he's been doing some interesting research. What research is Torwin doing? He's been looking into the possibility of combining Fokai to increase the power, although I don't believe there is much chance. But like to stifle creativity and individuality. One of your finest. Certainly, he finished the test of wisdom in record time. He also successfully completed the test of centeredness with virtually no mishaps. I've been very proud of him. I passed the third test. It's a wonderful thing, have you? Uh, excuse me, I do not have the time for further education. We've had a terrible thing happen. Brother Xavier has lost his focus of healing. How did that happen? No one's sure. Poor Brother Xavier is beside himself with grief. He's very enlightened and the debt would simply misplace something like that. Well, if he knows more, he's not telling me. I think it was stolen. It must be deeply to think that one of our own would stoop so low to steal from another enlightened one. It goes against all the Strata's teachings, but he also teaches mercy and compassion. So if it was stolen by one of our own, I will not hold it against that person, but rather I'll help him find the path of enlightenment again. Well, that's stupid. Where's he gone? Right. We know who we need to talk to, so let's save it here. the third test, huh? If you speak to me, oh, I'm sorry, you passed the test, you say, well, that's very good. Now, if you'll excuse me, something dreadful has happened, I must attend to it. What has happened? We must know, my focus of healing is missing. Missing? Yes, it's missing. What a tragic mishap. I hope I've just misled it, but I fear it's stolen. I can't imagine I simply lost it. It's far too important for me for to know the sight. Stolen? Well, it's indeed stolen. It's tragically beyond belief. Theft goes against all the Strat's doctrine. It goes against all we have tried to teach here. I really lost your focus. It was only a night ago. I'd worked very late that night. When I went to bed, I laid my focus on the chest of my bedroom, just like I always do. When I woke in the morning, the focus healing was gone. I'm a very light sleeper. The person who took it must have been able to move virtually silently. The slightest noise would have woke me. Do you know who took it? It's ridiculous. If I knew who took it, I'd get it back. Fortunately, there are spells provided with Stratos that will help me learn what happened to it. Bye. Don't have a chest next to your bed. It's probably that arrogant one. Pardon me. I've passed the third test. My fuck eye, I'm sorry I cannot celebrate with you, but tell things happened. Brother Xavier has lost one of his fuck eye. How did this happen? It seems to take a while. Slept. I'm sure that must be going for to help for the missing focus. Mm. <laughs> a 
is abrupt. Sorry, I can't celebrate the terrible thing happened for the Zebras plus me. So, okay, how did it happen? Seems to have taken on a slip. Sorry, but must have gone after the for his focus. Hello, where are you from? Hell the time there. Okay, so it's not you then. It's going to be the other guy in it. Old Captain Nobbit. Where is he? Not here. Twelve. Thirteen. That rhymes with chicken. Will be wasting more of my time? Hello, Torwin. I'm very bad with names. What's yours again? My name's Lignar. Probably remember next time what you want. What do you do here? Blah, blah. Bye. Let's run out. Hello, Torwin. Abilities, recognize your abilities. With a focus, I. Towing, my newest blah blah blah. Xavier, Cirrus. One of your finest. Pass the third test. What happened? How did that happen? You think it was stolen? Bye. I 
How did it happen? It seems to take him on his lap, so we must be going after help for the missing focus. That's my phone, well done. Daddy. Yes. Mummy. Mummy's through there. Thank you. Yeah, there are all the buttons you shouldn't be pressing. Daddy. Yes. What's that you've got in your hand? The mouse. What does the mouse say? What's the mouse say? Mm. Eee. 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 press there. Now oh, you've pressed the Windows key. Ha. Ha. What does the mouse say, Iris? <laughs> yeah, you run the mouse over the keyboard. No. At. 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 Let me lift you down. Right. Strange young man, for a while I thought quite highly of him until you arrived, he was the best student we'd ever had. But, a strange young man, it's always unusual, we often find him standing in shadows outside different houses. What is he doing? Can only guess. Confronted, he offers no explanation, just wanders off. Recently taken interest in the resurrection spell. Well, it wasn't until he reached the third test, for some reason he couldn't pass it. He's tried a number of times, I've heard he's trying to find a way to reach Stratos and hear the mystic voice without passing that third test. Yeah, it's possible to bring the dead back to life if the proper conditions are met. It will cost you your eyesight, that's why Stelos is blind. Because of this high price, Stelos only gives that spell to one adept at a time. It's, after all, a very dangerous spell. Well, certainly, for to cast it, one must journey to the city of the dead and face the minions of Lithos. Only one caster in the has has not survived that encounter. Be well, my friend. That doesn't help me. 
Excuse me. I've met Holy Cirrus. Is that your man? I think. He's soft and a bit of a sissy. Have high hopes for his abilities. He'll never make it as an adept. I bet he's back to his Torax in a month. He and Tarwin are very good friends. I think they spend too much time together and not enough time on their studies. I met the Honorable Sterus. What a wonderful man. I only hope that spies and knowledge is getting to his long life. Met Tarwin. Hmm. Bye. If you don't like Cirrus. Pass the third test. Ah, oh, you speak to me. Bye. Okay, so let's go speak to Cirrus then. Didn't really strike me as the one to nick the thing, though. Have you seen Torwin? No, I have not. Yes, I have. Where is he? I don't know. He told me he was going to the Windy Point today for something very important. Why are you covering up for him? I'm not covering for him. I think he's the one who took the focus. I don't think he meant any harm by it, though. Not mean spirited person. Bye. Okay, so back to the old flatulent point. Is this it? I think so. Oh. Torwin! Go away! Leave me alone! Someone's focus is missing. Missing focus? I know nothing about this matter. I believe you do. I know nothing, I tell you. Why I haven't even been near Brother Xavier. But you knew it was Brother Xavier. Well, I didn't steal it. I didn't have to borrow it. Did not steal it. I told you, I'm not a thief. I only borrowed it. Need the magic in it for my father. Yes, my father's name is uh, was Toran. He lived in Tenebrae, my hometown. He's dead now, killed by that evil Mordia. Toran was your father. Yes, he was a good man, not afraid to speak out for what he believed, and he was killed for it. Why did Mordia kill him? That murdering bitch. She had him executed for simply speaking his mind. Is that right? Can a man's life be snuffed out with mere words? Is that right? I ask you. Ooh. I saw his execution. Then you saw his head was severed from his body with a single swing of the executioner's axe. That, in that instant, the most important man in my life was taken from me, and I could do nothing about it. Not then, anyway. Fuck, I have very strong lines to the Great Stratos. I thought that perhaps with two, I might be able to draw twice as much power from the Great Titan. Uh, not then, but what I've learned here, I'll be able to make things right again. I will make things right. Use the magic from Stratus to bring my father back to life. I will have my revenge. I'll still have my revenge and bring my father back to life. I will bring him back from the pit of death. Your father is with the lurker. You lie. He's in the pit of death and I shall bring him back. Do you hear? I shall. And I shall do it now. Don't need this extra focus at all. I'm strong enough to do it on my own. And I will. I'm coming for you, father. Torwin, wait. Torwin's ring. Why did he just jump off? Suppose for a minute you're back in your house to make things easier. No. Excuse 
excuse me. Let's see. I found your fox healing. How wonderful. Thank you, my friend. There's no way I can repair this debt. If you need healing, please come to me. Right. it? You don't want it. Pass the third test. That's excellent news. That's all in his death is quite tragic. Serious. Okay. So. Why wouldn't you take the focus off me? Poor Torwin. Loss of life is always a tragedy. I hope the loss of one so gifted and greater loss for those who will not receive his healing powers. However, where the focus was found, he'd plainly shown himself ready to pass the final test and become a full adept. Adept. Yes, when you become an adept, you will have full use of all the spells Stratus gives her followers. Found tests are creatures for you to fight. There are no creatures for you to fight, no riddles to answer, no problems to solve. They're simply you and your belief. You must rely on your own ability and your faith in Stratus' power. How do I take this test? You must travel to Windy Point where you'll find two black pillars. Stand between those pillars. If you truly wish to hear the mystic voice, you must take a leap of faith. Okay. So it took my focus. Maybe I have to give that back to his mother. Assuming I don't die from f doing exactly what he just did and hoying himself off the rock. Bye. 